We're gonna go up the elevator. Exciting. Follow me. Right in there, you can see it was the Arapaima. Some consider it to be the largest freshwater fish in the world, but it's going extinct right now. And that's what this whole video is about. All right, so let's back up just a second. We're actually here at the Universium, which is Sweden's National Science Center. Uh, obviously, I'm not in the Amazon right at the moment, which is where these fish are normally found. I actually went there this summer, though. Couldn't find any. They live in the murky waters there of the Amazon, and people do fish for them. In fact, the local tribe had a necklace that I saw with the Arapaima scales, but uh, this is second best. They're right down there in that tank, and that's what I want to show you. Come on. I want to talk about the five things you didn't know about the Arapaima. The first cool fact about these guys is that they breathe air. And by that, I mean like us. They swallow air from the surface, they bring it down, not into a lung, actually a modified swim bladder called the labyrinth organ, and they don't really use their gills all that much. They do when they're young, but when they get older, they just swallow air. Next, a lot of people claim that this is the largest freshwater fish in the world. I know I thought that originally. Doing a little bit more research, turns out that maybe it's just among the largest freshwater fish. Besides, all those you know, largest uh, type statistics can be a little bit skewed depending what you're measuring. This sticker, I think, is about 13 feet long, might signify the largest one that's ever been caught. Uh, something like 440 pounds, pretty big, but um, not the largest freshwater fish in the world. In regards to the reproduction, these guys are actually mouth brooders. And what that means is that, in this case, the males will open up their mouths, take in all the young, and take care of them, protecting them in a quite formidable jaw. Arapaima are actually in a group called the Osteoglossiformes. Kind of a nerdy science fact, I know, but you might have seen a fish like this, which is the arowana, also very primitive ray fin fish, in the same order. Uh, there's some other cool facts about that though. And by that other interesting fact, what I'm really talking about, and this is totally nerdy, I totally get it, is that the gastrointestinal tract of osteoglossiform fishes passes to the left of the stomach. Whereas other fishes, all other fishes passes to the right. You can look that up, it's true. Last thing, these guys are going extinct in the wild, which is really unfortunate because they're being overfished. And it's something you probably wouldn't think about because they're in so many aquariums, but something we need to all think about and try to figure out a way to protect them. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little video about these very primitive bony tongue fishes. If you want to see more of our Amazonian adventures, go to these links right here. Remember, subscribe to this channel. We'll see you in another one very soon.